Hello everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me Purple Wokey. I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today as you have noticed, I'm using text to speech because I don't want to wake up anyone in the house. So with this text to speech let's take a look at the mana spiral for Sazanka. Sazanka? That sounds wrong but okay text to speech. So Sazanka getting a mana spiral is interesting. Definitely not the first of the New Year's units I would have picked to get one but it's nice to see one get it regardless. Now let's see what she does. Dancing Blossoms. Shrubble 7 cost. Share Able. Close Enough. Deals damage to surrounding enemies. Draws them toward the user and inflicts bleeding and shadow blight damage 400 four hits skill energy required 2805 skill energy required 8005 special effects last 30 seconds triggers every 4.9 seconds damage 146 last 21 seconds triggers every 2.9 seconds Damage, 41. That was bleeding and shadow blight by the way. The text to speech ignored it because it hates bleeding and shadow blight. Anyone next skill? Blooming Cradle. I meant anyway. That was on me not the text to speech. Increases the user's max HP for the remainder of the quest, increases their strength, and activates slumber strike stance. During slumber strike stance, the user's four strikes will deal extra damage, inflict sleep, and dispel one buff from each target. Skill energy required, 6400. Special effects, plus 10%, plus 30%. Lasts 15 seconds. Strike stance. Charges, 3.
special effects. HP plus 10%. Strength plus 30%. Lasts 15 seconds. Slumber Strike Stance. Charges, 3. Okay figured out how to work that. Now the co ability and chain co ability. Defense plus 15%. HP plus 9%. Okay, her abilities are the following. Cultured Flower. Speeds the rate the mode gauge decreases. By 35%. Also, using Blooming Cradle will grant the user a Strength Amp with a maximum Team Amp level of 2. After this Amp is granted, this ability will not grant it again for 30 seconds. Potent Paralysis Res plus 100%. Reduces susceptibility to paralysis by 100%. When the user is hit by an attack that would have paralyzed them, their strength is increased by 15%. For 10 seconds. After activating, this buff will not activate again for 15 seconds. Sleeping, Bleeding, and Shadow Blighted Punisher I. Increases damage to sleeping enemies by 25%, bleeding enemies by 15%, and shadow blighted enemies by 15%. Okay back after a quick pause to write all my feelings down. This is a huge upgrade for Sazanka. They really upgraded her from what she used to do. The ability to cause bleed. Shadow Blight, Sleep and Dispelling one buff is crazy good. Even if Sleep is very situational for fights it's more of an added bonus. Especially when she already has Bleeding, Shadow Blight and Dispel. If you're a fan of Sazanka I think she would be good enough to use Omniceteon. As always I recommend waiting if you're unsure, but honestly she sounds really good for me. If you disagree feel free to comment down below and give your thoughts on it. Oh and having a Punisher with 3 stuff on it? Pretty crazy. Even if one of them is sleep.
So yeah, that's the video everyone. Hope you liked. Sorry if you didn't like the voice to speech. If you prefer a SMR walkie over robot lady who I think is named Sharon. Let me know and I'll make sure to ask her it for next time. Oh actually better idea. I'll just release two videos and let you decide which you prefer. Well goodbye dudes. See you next time. Remember sleep well or whatever the hell it is I say when I end a video. Also my name is Wokey not Walkie Robot Lady. Please you're embarrassing me.